Hello everybody, this is David Wells, host of HubSpot's Inbound Now. Today I'm going to be showing you how to set up a Facebook custom iframe tab. As you may have heard, Facebook is shutting down their FBML coding language on March 14th, I believe. And that means the only way to have a custom landing page tab is to do it via an iframe app. So today I'm gonna to show you how to actually set up and create that app. The first thing I wanna mention is an iframe is basically a web page living on your website's server where basically the iframe is pulling in that web page into Facebook. So you're gonna to need to have some piece of content um, and the width of the Facebook fan page is 540 pixels wide. And this is actually what I set up uh, to iframe in. It's just some an HTML file living on my server. All right, once you have that set up, you're gonna need to go to facebook.com slash developers and you're logged into your Facebook account. You click on set up new app. You need to create a name for your app. So we're gonna do a custom tab test. Agree to Facebook terms and create the app. That will take you to this page. After you've named your app, click on create. This is the main settings page. Uh, it doesn't really matter too much about this stuff. The custom icon will show up underneath your Facebook profile right here and that's a 16 by 16 uh, pixel icon. I'd recommend using uh, iconfinder.com to find a, a suitable icon for that space. The next thing you're going to want to do is click on Facebook integration. And you're going to need to fill out two pieces of information on this page. The first is the canvas URL and that's where the, the domain name where your your content is living. So that would be for for my case, this piece of content's living on the main site inboundnow.tv. So the canvas URL is inboundnow.tv and you have to have that trailing slash there. Select iframe as the canvas type. You're going to want to name the tab. As, so I named it contests. And you're also going to want to put the tab URL, uh, basically the, the trailing um, file name of this page right here. So slash fbtest2.html and then save changes. After you've clicked save changes, go ahead and scroll back up to the top and click on back to my apps. And you'll have a number of your apps that you may or may not have created over here. So this app, you just click on the app you're, you're trying to go to click on application profile page and that's going to pull up the Facebook fan page for that application. Don't worry about this page. You don't really have to do anything with it, but what you're going to want to do is click on add to my page. What that'll do is pull up a list of the pages that you're an administrator to and you go ahead and click which um, page you want to add it to. After you've done that, go back to your uh, original fan page and scroll down and you should have that custom application iframe tab beneath your profile folder here. So when I click on it, I see here's my contest page and here is the content from that iframe page being pulled in. And people can go ahead and uh, enter to win this. This is for a contest, but you can set this up uh, in any way you want. If you want to set this up as your default landing page, it's the same process as before. You want to go in and edit your page. And under Manage Permissions, you're going to have the default landing tab. And your custom tab, whatever you named it, should be in here. Go ahead and select that and save the changes. And there you have it. That's how you set up the new way. Uh, instead of using Facebook's FBML language and app, you're gonna be you're gonna want to do it through the.
Facebook iframe setup because they're discontinuing FBML language sometime in early March. So yeah, if you have any questions, feel free to uh, tweet them at me, at David Wells or at Inbound Now, and I'll be uh, more than happy to help you out and point you to some further resources to help you get this done. Thanks for watching and have a great day.